Hello, students. Good, good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Hello, Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome to our English class. It's a great pleasure to see you again uh, this beautiful day or part of the day that we have experienced Tuesday, 20, 20, 25th, you know, 2023. So welcome to everybody to our English class. It's always <laughs> for me a great opportunity to start a, a good time to improve and practice English. That is the reasons why we're here to make a difference about our English level. So let's start today. And before that we um, start with the content, I just want to ask you, like in every single class, what do you remember we started? So who wants to, who wants to help me? What we started, who wants to share your information? What we did, base image. Tell me about it. Yes. The CDS. Uh -huh. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. So tell me what do you remember and check all the information about our classes so you can tell me. Yes. Nadia? Nobody, someone? Can tell me what we started? Puede decir que estudiamos? Una lección de where are you from? Conversation de Welton to school. Ah, okay. Interesting. All right. A conversation about school, yeah. So about nationalities, right? We were talking about nationalities. Like when you ask, where are you from? Are you from, are you Mexican? Are you from Brazil? So we were talking about this time in the, in the present time, okay? So don't forget about it. And also we were we also have some things to share today in the class. Also, we work in some exercises. We will continue uh, practicing and uh, we had a time to complete some things too. And I'm just going to share with you some of them. So let me check here. Okay, as we were saying in the last class, we're starting the, the verb be, yes, no equations would be, right? And um, we were saying that in, uh, do we have the statement, the, the affirmative, also negative, the just no equation and short answer. So we were studying uh, this structure, right? So just no equations, um, negative statements and short answer. Like I am a doctor, I'm not a doctor. Am I a doctor? Yes, you are and no, you aren't. So we could see the structure of the verb be in the, in the statements. And also depending the personal pronouns and also the verb be conjugated. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. So talking about the verb be conjugated. Plus the negative form, I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not. It is not, we are not, you are not, they are not. And also the contraction like you aren't, they aren't, and I'm not, you're not, he's not, she's not. So we were using the verb be, especially when we are requesting some things. And uh, briefly, we had the chance to uh, complete this exercise. So you can check here. Uh, complete the conversation using the best, the best part of the verb be. And we remember that we did this one. For example, um, hi, um, Hiroshi, 
Are you and Mike Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, I'm not. I'm from Kyoto. Is Laura from the U.S.? No, she is not. She's from the U.K. Is she from London? Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. Um, in that case, she's not from the U.K. originally. Is Laura's first language Italian? No, it is not. It is English, so check this one. We were saying two. Number three, is Selena and uh, are Selena because there are two names. Number three, are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No, they aren't. Oh, they are not. They are from Brazil. Um, are you from Brazil too? No, I am not. I'm from Peru. So is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is, right? So checking this one. And um, that, that's what we were saying. So you can see three pictures about the cities like Kyoto in Japan. You can see like a kind of house, a very traditional. Also London in the UK, United Kingdom in London and Lima in Peru. So you can see the site. And we're going to work in the part of B. Um, in that case, we have to match the equations with the answers. Then practice with the partner. So for example, you can see the first sentence. Let's see. Oh, Carla Vanessa. Ayúdenos a leer las oraciones de la 1 a la 5. Okay. Are you and your family from Canada? Is your first language English? Are you Japanese? Is Miss Mr. Who from Hong Kong? Is your mother from the USA? Thank you so much. And also let's read the possible answers. So I will ask to Anna Claudia, can you help me to read the, the answers A, B, C, D, E? No, he's not. He's from Singapore. Yes, she is. she's from California. No, it's not, it's Japanese. No, we're not, we're from Australia. Yes, we are, we're from Kyoto. Okay, thank you so much. So try to match, um, in that case, the best answer, right? For example, are you and your family from Canada? In that case, the answer is letter D. No, we're not, we're from Australia. So try to match the equation with the answer. And then we will take a time to compare the answers together. So uh, select it, select it now.
Okay, so let's compare the answers. We have the first one, the number two, because the first one is, are you and your family from Canada? The answer is, no, we are not. We are from Australia. We got the first one. And also, is your first language English? Number two, what do you think would be the best answer for this one? Number two. Yes. Number two. C. C. Is your first language English? It says, you say letter C? No, it's not. It's Japanese. Okay. For me, that makes sense. So you can see that we combine the, the number two, asking about the language, if the originally speak that language. So no, it's not. It's Japanese. Okay, number three. Are you Japanese? What do you think? It's the possible answer here. Are you Japanese? A. Hey. What is sorry? E. 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 Yes, we are we are from Kyoto. Oh, that's great. E. Yeah, that's letter E. So correct. Because they are asking them if they belong to that country. And obviously that they say yes because Kyoto is a famous city in Japan. So that's why it's it's the best answer for this one. Okay, the next one, letter. Number four, is Mr. Holt from Hong Kong? A, no, A. no he's A. from Singapore. No, he is not. Okay, from Singapore, right? It's a different place. So yes. it's not it's not from Japan, obviously. So B. that's the best choice. And the last one, is your mother B. from the US? B. Yes, she is, she's from California. Oh, she's from California. Yeah, you know, California is very interesting, you know, state. And also there are beautiful cities in California, like Los Angeles. Yeah, so they, definitely that's a big, big city. So you can see here on um, the best answer for that one. So we can also think about nationalities, like are you from this country? Are you from San Salvador? Okay, is your department near? So you ask some questions using the verb. So look at the next example here. Okay, so we're going to work in the exercise letter C. So Diana and Marcella, help me to read the exercise C. Mm -hmm. Disculpe. Um, leanos el ejercicio C. No, it's not. It's Japanese. Um, no, no, el, el que está al final, abajo. Ah, uh, este. Write five, write five questions like the ones in part B. Then ask and answer your question with a partner. Ok, entonces vamos a, en este momento, vamos a escribir cinco preguntas como las que están arriba. Por ejemplo, are you from Mexico? Are you from San Miguel? Are you from La Unión? O oh, is your brother in San Salvador? Entonces usted va a escribir cinco preguntas como las que están en el ejercicio B. Y luego esa las va a preguntar a sus compañeros en un break up rooms. Entonces usted va a utilizar la respuesta yes I am, no I'm not, yes she is, no she's not. Entonces le voy a dejar unos minutitos para que piense eh, las cinco preguntas que usted puede hacer con la misma estructura, siempre utilizando national and everything. Así que vamos a eh, hacer esto en este momento. Y pues si tiene dudas sobre la, alguna pregunta, la puede escribir en el chat y yo la reviso sin ningún problema. Entonces, vamos a dar este espacio para que puedan escribir las cinco preguntas 
como las que están en la parte 5 y luego ustedes las van a preguntar a sus compañeros. ¿Es that ok? ¿Está bien eso? Sí, es ok. That's ok. Una consulta. Las preguntas no tienen que ser las mismas de ahí, pueden ser elaboradas por uno. Ya, yeah, por ah. eso dice, ¿verdad? Que hay que cinco preguntas eh, con una estructura similar, es decir, siempre que vaya el verbo be, is are you, is he, she, entonces ah, okay. usted puede hacer, eh, usted se la va a preguntar a su compañera. Ah, ok. For example, you can ask Melvin, Melvin, are you from Santa Tecla? So Melvin has to answer the yes or not. So, eh, I, I, for example, I say, Rosa, is your, is your uh, job in San Salvador? So, entonces, ¿está tu trabajo en San Salvador or vice versa? Well, are you Mexican? Are you, I don't know, from other nationality? So you can ask questions. And uh, is your first language Spanish? Or maybe Italian or French. I don't know. Is your second language English? Uh, Diana Marcella, is your second language English? So she has to answer the best part in that case. Okay. Entonces, es más que todo para que lo podamos compartir.
Okay. How how are we going? Eh, vamos bien? Yes. Tengo una pregunta. En la parte B, en la, en la número 3, que le pregunte, are you Japanese? ¿Por qué le responde, yes, we are? O sea, yo sé que el you se puede usar para terceras personas también, ¿verdad? Um, Pero, you es para singular, segunda persona. Segunda persona. Y para plurales, terceras personas plurales, ustedes. You, Ajá. usted, and you, ustedes. ¿Y Siempre cuando sé es... que se refiere a plural o solo por la respuesta? Ajá, por ejemplo, yo digo, este, you are Mexicans. And, entonces, por ejemplo, ustedes son mexicanos. Entonces, el contexto. El contexto, el contexto ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. El contexto. Ah, ok. Yes. Y en este caso, teacher, que vamos a usar ciudades, ¿no sería eh, el where do you live? El que, con el que haríamos el ejercicio, siempre con el where are you from. Yeah, so you can, you can use where do you live. Um, sí, solo que acá la diferencia es que aquí estamos usando el verbo be, ¿verdad? El verbo ser o estar. So, si usamos el where do you live, es un poco más presente, simple en general utilizando el do, pero la idea es utilizar el verbo be. Ok. Yes. Ahí usted puede decir, por ejemplo, are you from, is she from, is your father from Cuscatlán, is your father from San Salvador, is your mother from, por si usted le quiere preguntar a un compañero de dónde son sus papás. Are your parents from San Salvador or Santa Ana? So you can ask the questions about nationalities. In este caso, pues si hablamos de San del país, you talk about a country. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's your teacher. I'm sorry? Ahí sería it's your, cuando es, cuando me refiero a lo que estaba explicando, el plural, cuando son más personas, que yo ah. quiero preguntarle... Tus amigos son de ejemplo de Colombia. Are your friends are your friends from Colombia? Ajá, entonces ahí usamos el are. Si fuera singular sería is your friend. Y pues ahí sabe que es singular.
Ok, ¿estamos listos? ¿Estamos listos? Yes. 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 Ok, so let's work with the breakup rooms. Vamos a formar unos pequeños grupos y vamos a tener unos minutitos, like five, five minutes to ask and answer the questions using the verb, the verb E. And also you can practice with your partner. So just give me one second and everybody try to connect. Así que vean la pantalla. And cuando se envíe como la solicitud para que usted la acepte y pueda participar en los breakout rooms. Así que, let's go. Sí, I think we're going to change. Yeah, we're going to change. Because we need groups like three members. Mm -hmm. Open them. Is your fear of language Spanish? Yes, it is. Yes, it is Spanish language. Um, is your mother and father uh, San Miguel? No, they aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. They are from San Salvador. They are from Sonate. Is your sister from Canada? Canada. How do you say? No, Canada. he's not. He's from La Libertad. No, she's not. He's from uh, Lopango. Is your first, first language Spanish? Yes. Yes. It yes, it is. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Spanish. Is your second language English? So, yes. <laughs> yes, but we need practice more. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. 
Media, are you from USA? No, she's not. She's from Colombia, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miriam. <laughs> Are you Guatemala? Guatemala? No, I'm not. I'm from El Salvador. No, we're not. We are from We are from El Salvador. Yo ya dije todas mis preguntas. No sé si le falta alguien. Oh. Ya dijimos todas las formas, ¿verdad? Que sea un poquito mal, pero ya las practicamos. Sí. Es correcto. No sé si podemos preguntar. ¿Is, is Melvin from Hong Kong? No. <laughs> oh. No. No. Oh. It's it's Sabado. He's the USA. He's from USA. <laughs> <laughs> it's Y Silvia, eh, o R, y Silvia from USA? No, it's, no, it's not. It's El Salvador. It's from El Salvador. Is Mrs. Vanessa from France? No, she is not. She is from El Salvador. Okay. In my case, no, I am not. No, I am from El Salvador. Okay. okay. Y cuando le preguntan a uno, vaya, por ejemplo, esta, are you Japanese? Um, aquí no es, no, I am not. Porque no estamos refiriendo a nosotros mismos. No. O es. No, it's not. Uh -huh. Ocuparía la. So, is your first language English? Not. Is not. First ling language is, is Spanish. Oh. Yo creo que su, su pregunta era sobre el is y el are, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, el is es cuando es your. Y, o sea, your. Y el are es cuando es nada más you. Porque mm -hmm. el otro son los, los posesivos. Posesivo. Ajá. Ahí es cuando cambia. Ok, gracias. Ahora yo le doy una génesis. Okay. Are you and the, your family from El Salvador? Yes, we are.
Ahora le voy a preguntar yo. Is, uh -huh. your, first, is your first language French? Mm, no. No. Mm, no, if not, if. Mm, if. Spanish. Podemos también intentarlo con otro vocabulario, ¿verdad? Como decir, eh, are you, are you sad? Sí, también. Mm. Sí, porque la cosa es usar el, el B. No, I'm happy. Oh, it's good. Um, are you? Como la que está aquí. Ajá, como la que está acá. Are you hungry? No, I am not. Are you um, um, a doctor? Como? Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. ¿Qué más? ¿Será que regresamos ya a la otra sala? No. Uh, no, no ha mandado él. Sí, ahora sí. Ahorita. Okay, so we could uh, listen people talking and also um, answering, ask and answer some questions. Como parte de la práctica, eh, siempre es importante estar practicando constantemente las estructuras. 
Entonces, eh, creo que es, eh, como podemos ver las estructuras, siempre hay que trabajar el orden, conocer los pronombres. Are you? Is he? Is she? Is it is? Are we? Are you? Are they? Entonces, es importante siempre seguir el orden. Eso eh, es, se, se logra a través de la práctica. Entonces, algo, hay, que, hay que hacerlo constantemente. Igual, cuando usted salga de esta clase, hágase como preguntas. Are you from this one? Is she? Is he? Entonces, vamos como como haciéndolo más mecánico, más natural. Entonces, es parte de la práctica. Well, let's continue. Also, with the following information here, you know, there are some personalities and also there are some pictures of famous people that nowadays, they, um, it's like a little old, but I don't know the time specifically, but you know them where are they from? Where are they? Uh, where are these people from? And check your guesses. Entonces vemos ahí, por ejemplo, Talia, uh, Char Charles Seron, Kiria Onomo, Celine Dion, and Tiger Woods. Y tenemos some nationalities like Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, and also the number two is Sweden, Ireland, South Africa. Number three is uh, Korea, Japan, or China. Celine Dion is France, Canada, or Australia. And Tiger Woods, it's like you asked England or New Zealand. So I'll give you some time to check these personalities. And also you will try to guess where are they from. And also you will check, give a check if you know about where they are from. So you can also investigate about their nationalities. Así que le voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted pueda identificar de dónde son ellos. Y lo vamos a compartir en clase.
uh, did you identify the nationalities? Did you investigate about the nationalities? Yes. So let's see what happened here. So you can help me to check the possible answers. We have uh, Talia. Where is your from? Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, so she's Mexican, right? So the nationality is that she's Mexican. Good. Uh, what about Char Charlize Theron? South Africa. South Africa, right? South Africa. Okay. Africa. Yes. And what about Hideo Nomo? Japan. Japan. So, yeah, he is Japanese Japan. and he, he was a, a very famous uh, baseball player. He played for the Dodgers. It's a very famous um, baseball team in the history in the United States. And what about Celine Dion? Canada. Canada. And what does she do? Oh, who is she? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué hace? What does she do? ¿Qué hace? Is an artist. Is an artist. She's a singer. Yes, yes, she's, a, yes she's, she's a singer. And what about Tiger Woods? The USA. And who? The what does USA. He do? What does he do? Actor. Hmm. Is go. Fista. How do you say golfista? It's golfista. Yeah, yeah. He's a golf player, so he's very famous at golf. The most recognized. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that's right. So yeah, so Talia is from Mexico. Also, Charlize is from South Africa. He was Japan. Celine Dion's Canada, and also Terry Woods is from the United States. So you can see those famous people, and also we know about their nationalities. And um, something interesting about that. So let's continue with the next topic. It is a conversation about his kid. So just give me a time to also check this conversation. Okay, so let's see here. Vamos a ver, vamos a compartir esta, este audio en el grupo. Um, ahí está. Dice... Who is that? He's my brother. Whoa, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He is 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She is the baby of the family. So you can check here this conversation uh, about Emma and Jill's. What I just mandated el audio de, de la pronunciación y vemos que ahí la palabra dice he's cute, es como decir, él es lindo cuando usted ve la palabra he's cute also the pronunciation is cute who's that? ¿quién es ese? he's my brother wow, he's cute what's his name? es lindo, ¿cuál es su nombre? James, we call him Jim James, pero lo llamamos Jim y la pregunta es how old is he? Para referirnos a la edad. Si yo le digo, ¿cuántos años tiene usted? Le digo yo, how old are you? Pero en este caso, como se refiere a él, decimos, how old is he? Um, he's 21 years old. He's 21. Y le agregamos years old. 21. Oh, What's his like? Ahí vemos una, una pregunta que es muy, eh, muy conocida como para decir y a, y, y a quién se parece. What's, what's his like? Y, ¿Y cómo es él? Eh, para decir, ¿y cómo es él? What's his like? I bet he's nice. Te apuesto. Ese bet es como apostar. Te apuesto a que es, es genial. Es como nice. Yes, he is. And he's smart too. 
Y él es muy inteligente también. And who is that? ¿Y quién es esa? My sister Tammy. Mi hermana Tammy. Solo tiene 12 años. She's only 12. And she's the baby of the family. Ahí le explica que es el, la bebé de la familia. Y vemos algunas oraciones importantes como How old are you? Para decir la edad. How old are you? How old is she? How old is he? Ahí vemos. Um, vemos ahí la estructura. ¿Me escuchan? Yeah. Sí. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, yes. perfect. Thank you. Y vemos ahí, pues, ese famoso Who is that? ¿Quién es ese o quién es esa? Who is that? Who is that? He's my brother. Who's that? And, uh, it's, it's my brother. It's my sister. Y el how old are you? ¿Cómo es, ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene él? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? So we can see that. Veamos la siguiente example. So look at this one. Y vamos a ver así in a briefly way the numbers. Eh, antes de que culminemos la clase, vamos a ver los números del 11. Eh, los voy a grabar acá también para que ustedes los puedan escuchar en este momento. One second. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, or 101, 102, or 102. 103 or 103. Entonces vemos cómo están los números, por ejemplo, del 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Cuando llegamos al 20, sigue el orden: 21, 22, 23, 24, hasta llegar al 30. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39. Y luego 40, y regresamos con 41. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Así, llegando a cada uno y agregándole del 1 al 10 para hacerlo de 10 en 10. 61, 62, 63, 64, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Para llegar al 100, pues es, ya uno menciona ya el 100. 110, 110, 111, 111, 112, 112, y así sucesivamente. Les he mandado el, en el chat, si ustedes revisan WhatsApp, ahí van a escuchar que les compartí la pronunciación para que ustedes la puedan practicar. Vamos a pasar la asistencia en este momento, so you can take a time to check or, or listen the audio with the information about this conversation. So, one second. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, Ana Claudia Mejía. Present. Eh, Ana Leticia García. Present. Eh, Camila Alessandra Consuegra. Present. Eh, Damaris Milagro Hernández. Present. Eh, David Rafael Ramos. Present. 
Eh, Diana Marcela Cruz. Present. Fátima Esmeralda Rivera. Present. Eh, Fátima Guadalupe Hernández. Fátima Guadalupe Hernández. Eh, Fátima Saray Hernández. Eh, Génesis Abigail Hernández. Present. Eh, Carla Vanessa Sánchez. Present. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto. ¿Alguien tiene un micrófono? Creo que está haciendo una interrupción. No. Check that. Ok. Um, Lady Evelyn Guerrero. Present. Eh, Melissa Daniela Ángel. Melissa. Eh, Melvin Balmore Cruz. Present. Eh, Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Present. Eh, Miriam Maricel Escobar. Present. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Nelson. Eh, Rosa María Salazar. Rosa. Perdón, present. Ok. Eh, Silvia Noemi Campos. Present. Eh, Teresa Yamilet Martínez. Teresa. Present. Eh, Yanira del Carmen. Present. Y Yolanda Yamilet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Se me okay. tomó la Sorry. No, y, no, y, sí, 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 me escuchó. <laughs> ¿Su nombre? Teresa. Teresa, apellido. Martínez. Martínez. Uh -huh. uh, let me check. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, students, thank you so much for the practice. And we continue tomorrow with the numbers. Vamos a seguir practicando con los números. Por ahí les de la pronunciación para que ustedes revisen WhatsApp. And also you can practice. So, okay. see you tomorrow, yeah. students. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good Thank you. Podría mandar las reglas de los plurales al grupo, por favor. Si no las encuentro. En... Le voy a mandar. Um, quiero ver. Le voy, a, voy a mandar un enlace al grupo donde ahí están. Ah, ok, gracias. Thank ok, you're you welcome. It's a pleasure to see you. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, you too.